Welcome to Open Network Learning, a course, a community and approach. This is most likely a different sort of course to the ones you participated in before. Because this is an open online course with international study groups guided by experienced facilitators. We hope this is going to change the way you look at and practice your teaching and learning. And at the same time, making a lot of new connections and friends along the way. But first of all, let me introduce the course organizers. My name is Jörg Pareiges and I'm the head of the library, including the Center for Teaching and Learning at Karlstadt University in Sweden. Hello, I'm Alexandra Wirth. I'm working in the Karim Foundation in Zürich. Hello, I'm Philipp Lavlachte. I work at Ricarda in Helsinki. I'm Lars Uli. Uh, I have just retired from my university position, but will of course be continuing working with uh, the ONL team, the organizing team. My name is Lotta Ovjansson. I work at Lund University as a coordinator with the Unit for Educational Services. But even more important than the course organizers is the team of facilitators and co-facilitators. And you have a chance to meet them here. Come on, everybody. Let's see those smiling faces and wave. Wow. Hello. 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 Nice to see you. <laughs> Welcome. Now that you got a glimpse who is behind the course, we would like to tell you a little bit about the course. We shorten Open Network Learning to ONL and it's called ONL 242 because it's the second iteration of 2024. The course will run from the 16th of September until the 8th of December. Hopefully you can set aside six to eight hours each week during this period in order to get the most out of it. The course is developed for teachers, educational technologists and course designers, but it's basically open for everyone with an interest in teaching and learning in the open net. During the course, you will be working collaboratively in small learning groups, supported by facilitator, and it's really about learning by doing. We will be applying problem-based learning, which means that in each topic you will influence heavily what you and your teammates will be working on together. It's all about sharing your learning within the group and to the rest of the ONL community. Doing this online might be new for you and we promise it's an amazing experience. ONL is really a multicultural and cross-disciplinary arena for professional development and exchange in online learning. And everyone who is part of ONL 242 belongs to the community, if you want to. The majority of participants, facilitators and co-facilitators come from the partner organizations. As you can see, the majority come from Sweden and Finland, but we have participants and institutions collaborating from all across Europe and South Africa. We're calling the participants from those organizations the institutional learners. Being a fully open online course, we also welcome open learners to the ONL community. Each iteration, we have between 20 to 30 open learners joining the problem-based learning groups, making up for an even more diverse international community of learners. In ONL 242, we welcome colleagues from France, Greece, Hungary, Italy, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, South Africa, Spain, Turkey, and the Ukraine. The institutional learners and open learners will be grouped together in groups of eight, depending on your preferred meeting times. This makes interacting and working together on the course much easier. Each group will have a facilitator and co-facilitator to their disposal and together you form a problem-based learning group or PBL group. Together with your PBL group, you will go on a fantastic learning journey, which consists of the following number of topics and in this order. We start the course with settling in, getting ready and connecting with your PBL group members. Then the focus is on online participation and digital literacies, which is the first two week topic. We continue to discuss open learning, sharing and openness, followed by a reflection week before finishing up with a focus on course design for online and blended learning and the lessons learned and future practice final week. In the reflection week, you have the chance to catch up, reflect on the first half of the course and get ready for the final topics. During the 12 weeks of the course, you mainly participate, interact and be active in three different spaces. 
To start with, you will get the chance to say hi and interact with the entire community. This space we call the O'Neill Community Space. Everyone in the course, participants, fellow facilitators, co-facilitators and course organizers are part of this space. Here you can share some interesting resources, thoughts, articles or ask questions and connect with others outside your PBL group. In your PBL group space, only you, your PBL group members and the facilitator and your co-facilitator will have access to. You will get access to the space in the connecting week and this will be the most central and active space for you. Starting with topic one, you will do some individual reflection and collect your reflections in your individual reflection space, the third space. Here you reflect individually on your own learnings and experiences from working with the scenario and with your teammates. We encourage you to connect your reflection space to the course homepage so more participants can give input to your thoughts and experiences and for you to really experience open network learning. During the entire course, there will also be synchronous common course activities. These are also open to independent learners and the broader public. And here you can get some additional input into your learning journey. For these webinars, we will invite internationally renowned speakers and experts in the field of online learning. We will also organize some practical workshops for you to get hands-on advice on how to progress. In the beginning of the course, there will be an institution and open learner meeting and we will have a drop in help desk where you can get some answers if there should be any questions coming up. All to make for a good onboarding experience and a smooth start for you in this course, which is probably a little bit different from your previous courses. At the end of ONL, we will have a final webinar together with all of us and reflect and discuss what we have experienced during the course and celebrate our journey. two-week topic is structured in the following way and will happen in the three mentioned spaces. At the beginning of the topic, a scenario will be introduced and you have some reference literature and course material to get you started with. You then get together in your first PBL group meeting and discuss what you would like to focus on. You will also have a topic webinar for some additional input and you will usually have two group meetings per week. In the second week, there might be another course common activity and at the end of the topic, you will present and share your presentation and outcomes of your PBL group work to the entire ONL community. You will also reflect individually on your learning on the group process and maybe take up topics you found particularly interesting or want to indulge more in. You will get feedback not only on your individual reflections, but also on your group work. And you are also supposed to give feedback to others on their individual reflection and group work all in order to create a community of learners and network learning. Hopefully by now it becomes more clearer why we call it open network learning. It's all about learning together, connecting with others and giving feedback and learning from and with each other. For the problem-based learning, you will follow a simplified model fitted to the online environment and developed by Chrissy Naranzi and Lars Olin. They and we call it the FISH model. FISH stands for Focus, Investigate and Share. During the topic and during the PBL group work, this is an iterative process on focusing on the scenario in the beginning. What do we see and how do we understand what we see here and what we read? How do we interpret the scenario and what do we find most interesting? You negotiate this together in your group and then you go on and investigate this part uh, first individually. You investigate where you can find answers to this problem and you will also negotiate who will do what by when. You share then back to your group and discuss what all of you found. Then it's time to focus again, probably in the second week of the PBL group work. You probably will focus on a particular aspect of the question and you will negotiate this together. Hopefully by now you get a little bit better understanding how we organize the course and why. It might be very different from other courses you have taken before, and this might be a little bit confusing at first. We hope, though, that you really enjoy the ride as so many participants before you. Embrace it and join the fun. Ask a lot of questions and connect with others. Say hi in the community. Connect and share and contribute to a fantastic learning journey for you and others. Now, 
We're really looking forward to see you on the course and have fun.